After the tie in round one, the bidders were moved to the second round where they were allowed to bid from the initial reserved bid price of $23 million. During the second round, Bidfloss offered to pay $23,251,000, but unknown to Globacom, the second national carrier offered a lower sum of $23,050,000 for the license. At the end of the second round, Globacom was not willing to proceed to the third round, enabling Bitflux to emerge winner. Globacom bid $23,050,000 and one US dollars, while Bitflux in the tiebreaker round bid at $23,000,000. $251,000 US dollars. With that, Bitflux has won the one slot of 2.3 gigahertz auction and they have won it at 23,251,000 US dollars. With this, it's however clear that Nigeria broadband efforts is yielding fruit, as many describe the success as a beginning of true knowledge revolution for Nigeria. In the words of NCC's Director of Spectrum Administration, Mualune Augustine, 27 firms had bidded in the process that started in November 2013, but when the information memorandum was released, only two of the firms met the set criteria. With the almost unknown Bitflux Communications Limited, a consortium of three firms including VDT Communications, Bitcom Systems and Superflux International, beating almighty Globacom to the license. Some firms reported to have shown interest in the multi-billion 2.3 GHz spectrum include MTN Nigeria, Spectronet, Etisalat, Mobitel, Bry Media Consortium, Zinox Telecoms, Airtel, Bitflux Communications Limited, Globacom Limited, among others. The process of the auction started with publication, with the public notice, <coughs> notifying interested participants of the availability of the spectrum and auction. Although many praise the process and the successful winner, they however warned that impediments holding back the previous licenses from rolling out as expected should be addressed. Some of the factors militating against infrastructure rollouts in Nigeria include huge cost of right-of-way, erratic power supply, vandalism and cable theft.